This is a story that was cut for time from my recent video, Running It Down, that you should check out before this one if you haven't already, as it'll spoil some plot points in that video. Also want to mention that I've started streaming TFT regularly over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash saveisuntitled, linked in the description. I'll be streaming all day on December 7th for the launch of Set 8, aiming to hit at least Diamond on day one, and we'll be streaming all of my road to making it the Challenger this season over there as well. Anyways, let's get to the story. Something interesting about TFT that most competitive games don't have is that it allows you to queue up for ranked games with up to three of your friends. On paper, it sounds like a huge advantage being able to coordinate builds with another player and plan together how best to play against the rest of the lobby. But often the impact ends up being next to negligible as the mountains of information that you have to parse yourself during a normal game of TFT leaves a player with little time and mental bandwidth to work together. However, as with most things, my duo partner Pope, who goes by the in-game name of Please Perish, has a completely different perspective. Pope was saying that he felt that he consistently played worse when we duoed, going as far to dub me the LP Thief. So I took the nickname in stride and said I was going to run the numbers at some point to see if the moniker was valid. And despite that feeling that I was a leech on his rank, Pope continued duoing with me throughout set 7.5. And when the time eventually came to get started on the main video, the first thing I wanted to do was check Pope and I's duo stats. Unfortunately, there aren't tools available to do this. So I dusted off my IDE and started poking around Riot's public API using Python, trying to get the info I needed. The code isn't pretty because of my incredibly basic understanding of Python, but it worked. And there's a link to the GitHub down in the description for anyone who wants to take a look at it. In this program, for the ease of LP1 and Lost, I used the basic guidelines for LP change, 40 for a first, minus 40 for an eighth, and so on and so forth, because LP change isn't included in the match history. So after a few days of coding, I was able to get the results. So I got, I got the stats. And? When we play together, you are minus 410 LP. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when we play together, I am plus 470 LP. Yep. Okay. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, God damn it, Scott. <laughs> but, 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 but there's a positive side. Okay. Is there? Is there? So... Uh -huh. Your normal top four rate, like overall in all your matches, like I pulled it from low chest, is about 46%. But when we duo, it's around 50%. So you do 4% better when we play together. But I still lose LP somehow. Yes. And what makes this clip even better is that I messed up the math initially when telling Pope. I actually realized my mistake in real time as I'm recording. You know what, Pope? <laughs> I... <laughs> what, motherfucker? <laughs> Did you steal even more LP from me than you realize? Uh, y you know how previously there's like the positive side of like, oh, your win rate going up? Yeah, you were wrong. <laughs> your win rate actually goes down about 6% when we play together. Yeah. I fucking knew it, motherfucker. I was like, there's no way. Like, I know I'm a first or eighth player, but there's no way. Well, you know what they say. So Pope's gut feeling ended up being 100% correct. I am an LP thief. So is it fair to say Pope helped me on my road to Masters? Absolutely. Of the 273 games in Diamond it took me to get to Masters, 19 of those were played with Pope, who finished the season Diamond 4. It's more than that, though. At the start of the season, Pope beat me to Diamond and quickly lit that fire to catch up to him with some friendly trash talk. He'd send new ideas my way from games he played or posts from the competitive TFT subreddit on builds I should be keeping an eye out for. And despite the sinking feeling in his stomach that I was tempting him into his own downfall every time he continued the queue up for another game with me, he kept playing. So in many ways, I don't think I would have made it to Masters without Pope, and I'm very grateful to him for that. And I'm also super glad as soon as Set 8 drops, he'll be there to let me steal his LP yet again. Thanks, Pope!